Let me take it back to a couple weeks ago. I posted this Instagram post because um, I have a store in San Diego and then my lease was coming up. If you guys don't know, when you get a store, um, if you don't own the actual facility, then what you need to do is you need to sign a lease and it's for X amount of time and um, eventually, you know, so eventually there's a certain point when that lease ends. Um, so some people sign for a year, some people sign for five years, ten years. Um, and my particular situation, my lease was expiring. So what I did was um, I had to decide if I wanted to continue or not. Well, as you know, since the pandemic, uh, a lot of life has changed. I think for retail market, people shop differently. I think people behave differently. and. Um, that's not a good thing or bad thing. It's just the fact is that the world has changed. So I think as far as retail businesses, that has also changed. I think people are more open to doing a little bit of different things. Maybe not necessarily the standard um, brick and mortar type situation that we've grown up with. And um, it made me think to myself, well, do you really want to sign another lease? And, you know, is it time to just let the store go? And what's funny is, like, I didn't ever talk about anything regarding money or anything like that. It really had to do with my time. And just if that was the focus of the direction I wanted to go with my business. As you know, also, um, videos have highly become sought after. I feel like attention really matters. And you no longer need a storefront to talk to the most people. Um, there was a time when you were just a regular business and you needed somewhere to congregate with people. But now so many people meet up online and so many people do things online. It just isn't the same. Anyways, I made this post. And the funny thing is, is I started to get a bunch of DMs. I mean, I guess my post was a little confusing because it sounded like I really wanted to close, which is truly the facts. I mean, I guess let me take it a step back. When you have a shop and you decide to open it and work there, what happens is you end up being a retail worker and there's nothing wrong with being a retail worker, but my time is more valuable doing so many other things. Um, not only just my family's needs, but also the marketing needs on the end of the business and also artistically I could be doing so much so why would I spend my time just being a retail worker uh, when my time is valued elsewhere you know and the other thing is when you have a small business people prefer to purchase from you so people always say well what if I work there or what if you get another worker and things like that and there's so much responsibilities when you bring in outside people um, there's not only trust issues, but there's also legal issues, insurance issues, and it's just a whole different ball game. I always tell people too, people prefer to shop from me and purchase from me because I think ultimately at the end of the day, they want to support me and my venture. So when they give it to someone else, they don't know that I'm ever going to know that they're rooting for me. And I think that's cool. It's kind of like the same way when you go to get a Starbucks or you go to a coffee shop and there's a barista that you really want to let them know that they took care of you. You want to make sure they see you put the tip in the jar. I think that's normal and that's just how people operate. So that's why I never really had outside employees and things like that. I made this post and I was saying I really wanted to close, but I've come across so many people that I've met in my life that were really inspiring to me. They've really changed my life. So many great conversations, so many fun times, and um, stories that they've told me have really changed me and really made having the shop such a blessing. And lately, as I've been questioning, should I even keep the store or not? An uh, influx of people were coming in and I was having these amazing conversations. And it made me realize, I think that God doesn't want my time to be up yet as far as having the store. I feel like it's a safe place. It's a hub for people to come, no matter what walk of life or whatever 
problem you're going through and you're welcome to come in have a conversation with me sit down do nothing look at clothes i mean just just know you're welcome and it's an open door so i think that the world was telling me that it wasn't ready for me to exactly close shop yet so i decided to continue um, in doing so i guess my message was confusing because I don't know if I speak too complex or maybe I just don't um, explain myself well, but I wanted to explain to people that in reality, online is where it's at, but I understand a physical store, the human connection is so important and that's what made me decide to stay. And again, like I said, I didn't speak about money or anything about any of that. And then I got this DM saying, I'm um, so sorry, bro, about your shop closing and um, how much is the rent or something like that. And I was offended by it because I was like, dude, this is, um, that's kind of like finding out, let's say my sister's husband died and you're like, hey, can I get her number? Because she's really cute. Um, you know, and I just think it's like weird timing, especially if you know anyone that has a restaurant a small business, a clothing brand, anything like that. It's their baby. It's their passion. And um, for people to just feel comfortable enough to just step to them like that, I think it's just crazy. Um, so I made this post a second time, kind of explaining how I felt about that and that I was bothered. Then I got another DM telling me that, um, you know, I understand, like, you should just let people talk and you know kind of show your business in a better light don't be don't be like that and to me i personally feel why uh it's it's the same thing why i do this podcast it's it's about who i am it's about what i represent it's about the real life of myself it's not i can't be this um like fake business where I'm going to tell you that everything is so fantastic and you know I'm the most professional at graphic design this is what me and my team of artists do and it ain't that it's just me it's just me making pictures on my computer me using my hands to go print shirts me trying to make stuff for you guys and for myself and me putting it in my store and selling it and putting it online me taking pictures, me making these videos. So truly, it's just an extension of my life. It's just an extension of myself. So I felt that um, I've never run everything the way you're supposed to. I mean, you know, everyone has these theories that like, because Supreme was so successful and how they did it, we all need to kind of like mimic that, that platform. And I think honestly, that's like in the past. To, if, if you ask me, I think a business that's so like um, clean around the edges and you don't know that there's any personality involved at all, I feel like that's the old way. I, I personally think I want to support companies where I know like, like that guy, I support what he's about or that woman, I really support her mission, her craft. Man, I can't believe she does all that. I, I think that's the beauty of social media today. That these big businesses can't compete ugh, sorry these big businesses they don't have the ability to compete with these little guys anymore there's little creators like myself uh, like myself i mean like myself that are able to make these videos and make these ad content and things like that that are better than the commercials that you watch on tv so it's no longer the days of who has the most money Sure, you can do advertising dollars, right? You could do all that and you can spend it in your social media feed and things like that. But truly, it's about real people doing real things. And now you have the ability to see it. People have the ability to share it. And people now realize, wow, there's a lot of creative people out there. And um, it's kind of a level playing field. I feel, yes, the algorithm is tough. I feel that um, not all videos and stuff are going to be successful, but you're willing, you have the ability to say whatever you want and portray yourself however you want. And you don't need a big marketing agency 
to paint that picture for you. You have the ability to do it on your own. There was a time, um, well, you know, this, the thing that really struck me is I was watching um, Tiger Belly and it had Bobby Lee on it, but it also had David Cho. And Bobby Lee was talking about how he wanted to do some show with David Cho. Or Bobby was saying he wanted to go talk to some Hollywood friends and get um, people to invest in it and whatnot. And David Cho's like, that's old school. You have a camera crew here. You have a camera in your pocket. You can film it if you want and you can put it up for free. Like, um, it's not the same way that it used to be. So along with the physical stores, along with portraying your business as some super, uh, what do you call it? Like super exclusive, expensive brand, things like that. I don't really think that exists anymore. There are people out there that I guess are influencers and they've done really well for themselves. They can charge a high premium price for their products and they do a good job. I, I hear that. That still exists. But the fact is, it's not necessarily that way for everyone. You have a chance as a small person to do big things, show the world how great you are. And I honestly think like the cream will rise to the top. Like. If you have good quality content and you can create great quality things, you will be able to compete in that world. Um, I know that's kind of here and there with everything, but it's all relevant to like how my world operates. I do so much stuff online. It's so much of how you grow your business right now. Having a physical store is more for, um, it's a place to feed my soul not so much necessarily the pockets um but sure as a business your main objective is to make money that's what businesses do my main objective with my store has always been it's really about the people it's really about relationships and it's really about community so i know a lot of people dream about having shops i think that has changed a lot i think people have changed i still think that the human connection is so important for us regardless of us being digital but some people have been able to translate that online they've been able to share who they really are and they're able to share that online and people embrace it and they accept them for who they are and that's an amazing thing i think that's fairly new i would say half i would have to say probably from like the tiktok era where people no longer had to fake who they were they can show up in pajamas and say what they have to say and people are cool with it and they're about it so i don't know to the people that say that i need to be this super polished brand and super polished business and present myself in a super polished way i i think that's great for your business and if that's what you want to do but for myself i don't think that's what about that's what i'm about i don't think that's what i've ever been about and I'll continue to do things my way because it's the only way that makes sense and stays true to myself. So, again, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening. Peace out.